Aquarius, in this ever-changing world, the tarot cards and astrology stars are like having two very wise friends to help guide and inspire you. The tarot card for the first week of October is the Page of Cups. The second week is the Seven of Swords. The third week is the Page of Pentacles. And finally, the Page of Swords ends the month. Aquarius, the card for the first week of the month is the Page of Cups. Now this is a very positive tarot card that suggests some good news may come your way. So stay aware of the ideas that come to your mind for you may be highly psychic at this time. There may also be a pleasurable or romantic adventure coming in the near future. Now as we look into the astrology, the month begins with Mercury in the eighth house of shared energy in opposition to Neptune in the second house of personal resources. Now Neptune can be a tricky energy and especially when in opposition to logical Mercury. It's important that you understand the difference between what is yours and what belongs to others. This is not only in a monetary or possession sense, but also in a talent and personal energy sense. So you may need to deepen your mind and your abilities. Now Mercury in your eighth house of shared energy will also trine Pluto in the twelfth house of limitations and spirituality midweek. Pluto exposes truth, allowing you to make better decisions concerning how to overcome any personal limitations or fears. The tarot card for the second week of the month is the Seven of Swords. Now this is a tricky card that suggests you need to pay attention to what's going on around you. Someone may be lying or manipulating business or personal situations. So keep your own actions above board, stay aware, and you will stay safe. Now as we look down into the astrology, week two begins with a big bump as Mars in the ninth house of ambition will square Pluto in the twelfth house of limitations. This energy warns you to be careful when dealing with people or situations that you don't truly understand. They could trip up your plans. <coughs> Another challenge may visit the end of the week, as Venus in the eighth of shared energy opposes Saturn in the second house of personal resources. This warns you to be careful with your finances and the investments you make with others. Now there is a trine from Mars up in your 10th house to Saturn, and he is in the second, and there will also be, that's on the 13th, and there will also be a new moon on the 14th up in the 9th house. So this may really help smooth things out as common sense can be put into action. When you have a good plan, you will be more likely to succeed. Before moving on to my predictions for the second half of the month, I would like to ask your indulgence for just a moment. If you don't mind, please just ring the little thumbs up like button below the video and please share my videos with your friends. These both help the YouTube algorithm and more people get to see the videos. Also, if you have any interest in developing your own psychic, spiritual, or healing abilities, then I'm sure you will enjoy a copy of my book, The Art of the Mystic, The Master Course in Spiritual and Psychic Development. It captures the teachings of my master and also the experiences I've had personally with my psychic and spiritual development. And in combination, that literally covers over 100 years of experience in the psychic and the spiritual. 
So I think you may find it very useful. It may be able to guide you and offer you inspiration towards your own spiritual development. So if you would like to order, just send me an email to 3339spirit at gmail.com. That's 3339spirit at gmail.com and I will send you the details. And it's under $20, so it is not too expensive, and that will cover shipping and handling as well. So thank you, and let's get back to the predictions. The tarot card for the third week of the month is the Page of Pentacles. This is an important card that signifies money, learning, and ideas. This is a good time to take a new course of study, listen to business ideas, and watch your budget. There may be a new business opportunity that comes your way. Now, as we look down into the astrology, the third week begins with a challenging Sun-Mercury conjunction in the ninth house of ambition that is squared to Pluto in the 12th house of limitations. So you must be very careful when dealing with ambitious plans for the future. Your own insecurities may trip you up. You may need to have more faith in your ability to move to the future and find success. The end of the week can settle down as Venus in the eighth house trines Jupiter down in the fourth. Now this could bring a new investment opportunity that could bring long-term security. Make sure you do your due diligence. And then Saturn in the second house will trine Mercury up in the 10th. This may help you structure a business plan that also brings long-term financial rewards. The tarot card for the final week is the Page of Swords. This is an important card that expresses a need to be diligent and prepared. There is always the possibility of a challenging situation that may come your way. If you're prepared and ready for action, you will be successful, for you will be able to stand on solid ground. The month ends as Saturn in the second house trines the sun in the tenth house, bringing a stabilizing energy to your career and status. This is an excellent time to prove your worth by accepting new responsibilities or challenges to your career. They will pay off in the long run. The energy will peak again as Mercury conjuncts Mars in the 10th house and both oppose Jupiter in the fourth house of foundations. Remember, you're working hard to create more security in your life. So don't create a conflict between home and career responsibility. Now, the month will end with unexpected energy as a full moon and Venus in the 8th house trying to Uranus in the 4th brings a new opportunity to deepen emotional connections and intimate pleasures. I'd like to thank you for watching and thank you for listening. I hope you'll subscribe and like my videos. And if you would ever like a personal psychic and spiritual reading or a natal or transit astrology chart, just go to my website, professorastrology.com. And I hope you have a fabulous month.